We got a bidet. Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. We got a very very exciting video for you today. Um, we finally got our hands on some Disney and Lorcana. Um, very very thankful for my dad because he's the one that actually found it and then picked a bunch of it up for us. So we got some separate videos to show you about the products. Um, this video is covering the Illumineers box. So uh, I'm going to tell you what's all in it, and then we are going to open it up and uh, see what's inside. And also open up those packs that are in there and see what goodies we got. Uh, I do want to do a special shout out to the place that did sell this for MSRP. That would be TC Sports Shop. I believe LLC as well is on the title there. Um, they are located in Zeeland, Michigan. So um, very, very nice of them to, you know, Put the correct pricing on these products. I'm looking at you for all those other people that uh, were charging three times the price for these products. Um, but because they dropped the price, we are now able to get the product. So, all right, let's take a look at the box. So the box on the front has like all the different characters that will be on the front of the packs. So Elsa, Mickey, and Maleficent on the sides. So that side and this other side are all the characters from the starter decks, which we will have a separate video about. <clears throat> Top isn't super exciting. There is a little like perforated thing here to pull to open it up. We got the bottom of the box there. And then the back, which I am going to read through a handful of these things, shows you all of what is on the inside. So what is on the inside? We got, oh, well, first of all, it says delve into adventure. This Illumineers Trove features a full art storage box and two full art deck boxes to keep your Disney Larkana cards safe and organized. The included eight booster packs will expand your collection and give you more options for your decks. The Player's Guide offers a look into the world of Lorcana as well as a complete visual guide to all cards in Disney Lorcana, the first chapter. Also included are deck building tips, game strategies, and powerful card combinations straight from the game's creators. Um, the things that are inside the box are there's one storage box, there are two deck boxes, eight booster packs that have eight cards in them, and then 15 damage counters plus a player's guide to the first chapter. So if you know about other card games, this is very, very similar to the Pokemon like trainer boxes, if you've ever heard of those. Um, one thing that I will point out though, I probably would say that the Dis or the Pokemon boxes are a little higher quality than the packaging we get here. Um, I believe the Pokemon one has like a thicker cardboard, so it's like really, really nice. Here it's kind of flimsy. Mm -hmm. I think they're anticipating that you're just going to throw the box away, quite honestly. Um, so... Well, to be fair, the storage boxes are inside this box, whereas with the Pokemon booster boxes, I think the outside box is the storage box. Yeah, so maybe... Well, we'll, we'll see what's inside, and then we can determine some of that other stuff. Uh, okay, so we got a very nice box that's coming right out of there. Toss that aside. So if we look at this box, um, the lid is just like the top of the Lumineers box. This is a nicer quality box than the outer shell, I will tell you that. Uh, looks like we got all those... It's kind of like the quality of a puzzle box, which is interesting because this is made by Ravensburger. Who also makes puzzles. Ooh, that focus is being kind of weird. Um, yeah, I forgot what I was going to say. Um, but we had, all those characters are from the starter decks. Um, if we open it up on the inside... Oh, I actually didn't check the bottom. The bottom has like the floating castle singing the jigger going on there. 
All right, so what do we got in here? We got the book that they were talking about. Uh, we got the damage counters, which are really nice. These are the two deck boxes that they made. So these deck boxes are, in my opinion, are not as good quality as the ones that you can buy separately. I'm trying to see even how this works. I think it's like that. And you fold it over. See, they don't even like really stay in place too well. Um, yeah, the, I would recommend the other deck boxes. But if this is the only thing that you can pick up, you know, they'll they will hold cards. So you get a little uh, Mickey Mouse one there. It also has Moana on the back. Uh, nothing on the sides. The top says Disney Lorcana. What does yours have? Uh, mine has it's Aurora, right? Yep, Aurora and Mickey. It's a different sorcerer okay. Mickey. A type of sorcerer Mickey. Yeah, there's a couple of different versions of Mickey in this game. So, got those on there. And then the last thing, probably the most exciting part of it all, are the packs. So, uh, there's the box. I think I already mentioned this, but the box inside is a much higher quality than the shell on the outside. I want to reiterate that because it is super nice. I will be using it for storage. Uh, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight packs in the treasure trove. Um, we are going to open these up here. I do want to mention really quick though that these packaging or the packages for the packs are really nice. They feel really nice in the hand, like very sleek and smooth. Um, so I think they did very well there. I like that there's 12 cards in here. It's not just like a pack of three. Yeah, not like the Dollar Tree pack of three. All right, so we're going to switch the camera here and we are going to do some pack opening. So let's get going with it. All right, so we got our first pack here. Uh, we got Elsa there on the cover. Again, we got 12 pack or 12 cards in each pack. Um, that's the front. We got the back here. Uh, so let's go ahead and open her up and see what we get on the inside. We're hoping for some good pulls. Uh, I think one thing we didn't mention was that this box retails for $49.99. So you will be spending about 50 bucks for it uh, if you get it for MSRP. If you think about it pack-wise, um, the packs are... $5.99 a piece, so six times eight, you're not too far off from that 50 bucks. So it's pretty much worth it just for the packs. Um, but our first one here, we got Simba. We got Jafar. It's a cool one. Aladdin. Jasmine. How about that? We got Jafar, Aladdin, and Jasmine all in one little pull here. <laughs> Elsa. Break. A different version of Simba when he's all grown up. Cut to the chase. Ursula's Cauldron. White Rabbit's Pocket Watch. I've actually heard that's a very good card. Uh, and then we got Mickey Mouse. And our hollow is Maximus. Pretty neat. Uh, like I said, I think that uh, I think the White Rabbit card is a very popular one that's really good, so I'm pretty happy with that. You also get like a little puzzle piece here at the very end. Um, there's a handful of them that you'll get, and you can put them all together to make a big picture. Uh, so yeah, that is pack number one. So let's move on to pack number two. Pack number two will have Maleficent on the cover there. Found a rarity chart. Yeah, they have it on the bottom. So there is rarities on the bottom here. Um, 
Let's see, you got anything from common to uncommon, rare, super rare, and legendary. Uh, the common is what we see on screen. It's like a little ball. We want to show that. Sure. We can just show that. Here's all your rarity keys. So if you're looking at the bottom of the cards, this is what tells you um, the rarities of the cards. And this is from the player's guide that came with the box. So our first one we got is Healing Glow, the Wardrobe, Beauty and the Beast, love it, Duke of Wesselton, Maleficent, Aladdin, Aladdin, but two different Aladdins, that's kind of cool. I wonder if either one of them's a repeat from the one we just had. I don't know. The Beast is Mine, I really like that one. Eye of the Fates, Maximus, uh, so this is a different form of Maximus, uh, so it's pretty cool. Oh, we got one of the really good ones. That is a super rare. Super rare Stitch. He is not foil, so that's kind of unfortunate. That'd be kind of cool, but really neat that we got that good pull. Uh, Marshmallow, is it just Marshmallow? Marshmallow, he is also a super rare. Super rare. Wow, nice. And then we got Ransack for our foil. So we got a couple of super rares, which is pretty nice. And then our foil was the Ransack. So that one was a pretty good pull, I would say. I don't remember if they were two super rares before or not, but... Um, third one, Mickey Pack. Alright, we're starting off with Minnie Mouse. She's cute. I think that's like the Three Musketeer version of her. Jetsam. Horus. Work Together. Pongo. Service. Smash. Shield of Virtue. Mother Knows Best, Captain Hook, Plasma Blaster, and then a foil of the Minnie Mouse. So did we, I think we got the con, like the non-foil and the foil version in the same pack. Yes. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> Moving on to number four here. I think it's High High. I really like High High. It's my favorite character from Moana. Uh, Freeze. Stolen Scimitar. Develop Your Brain. Abu. Kristoff. Befuddle. Coconut Basket. Prince Philip. Hades, Robin Hood, that's a super rare Robin Hood, and then our foil is Jasmine, nice. Haven't gotten any foils that have like super blown us away yet, we are really hoping for some of those full art cards, uh, so we got our next pack here, number five I think. We've gotten a legendary card yet. Oh, the stitch must have been the super rare. Right. All right, let's keep on keeping on. We got Mickey Mouse, Peter Pan, 
Simba, Jafar, starting to see some doubles we've gotten in the past, Aladdin, Kristoff, Jasper, uh, we got his counterpart in another pack, and it's really cool because they actually kind of play off each other if you have both of them. Chief Tui, I think that's how you pronounce his name. Sounds, sounds about right. LeFou, gotta love LeFou. Aurora, so there is a, another super rare. Um, Taka, that's another super rare. That's a good pull. And Mother Gothel. A super rare foil. Oh, wow. It's kind of hard to see the, the rarity uh, without moving the camera, um, but I did not know that was super rare. Very nice. Yeah, the, the super rare and the common symbols look kind of similar, but the common one looks more like a circle, and the super rare looks more like a clover to me. Gotcha. All right, number six. Work together. Pongo. Hi, hi. Freeze. Stolen Skimitar. Tinkerbell. Simba. Cut to the chase. Ursula's Cauldron. Hans. Haven't seen him yet. Ooh, Ariel. That one's a super rare. Very nice. Uh, and Hercules is our foil. I think that's a common. It is, but he still looks cool. Yeah, very cool card. I like it. All right, moving on to pack number seven in our box. Seven. Uh, develop your brain. Apu. Pumba. Pumba. Maleficent. Peter Pan. Prince Eric. The Beast is Mine. I love that card, even though we got doubles. Eye of the Fates. Maximus. If it's not Baroque. That's awesome. Got another White Rabbit's Pocket Watch. Nice. And then we got a Foil Elsa. This is not quite the super, super rare Elsa that's out there, but we'll take it. Still neat. All right. We got one pack left. Let's see if we get a full art. Philocrates? Philocrates? It's Phil. <laughs> <laughs> Minnie Mouse. Dingle Hopper. Archimedes. Tinkerbell. Simba. Smash. Shield of Virtue. Befuddle. Captain Hook, Marshmallow, That's a, I didn't realize earlier that that was a super rare. And then we got Just In Time uh, with Maui there on the cover. That's actually the, the photo they use for the playmat. So uh, we'll have that in a separate video. But that is our eight packs. All right, well, so we opened up those eight packs that were in the treasure trove. Uh, I thought we got some pretty good cards in there. We got a good handful of super, or secret rares. That's what they're called. Super. Se super rares. Okay, we got a handful of the super rares in there. We did not get any legendaries, I don't think. Um, which is a little unfortunate, but hey, that's what happens. You know, you just got to open up the next pack, and maybe you'll get it. 
Uh, so we covered the treasure or the Illumineers trove. Um, we looked at the box itself, everything that's inside. Again, the storage box on the inside is a lot nicer. It's got that thicker cardboard, so I do think it is worth picking up. Um, and again, eight booster packs is almost the price of this, so you might as well do it that way. You not only get the box, you get your damage counters, and we get the book inside, which we really haven't talked about a whole lot yet, so maybe we can just flip through a couple of pages to see what's going on here. It looks like it's basically a guidebook that explains, um, you know, what is the, the game, like what is the story of the game, why are they called chapters when they have all the different waves. Um, it's a nicer version, like a nicer built book version of the rules that you get with your starter decks. Um, they also have a handful of tips and tricks given certain cards, like for instance, there's this section where they talk about those cards and those cards, and there's a handful of them in there. Um, they also talk about card combos that might be, you know, devastating when playing against other people. Uh, I think there was another thing that I wanted to touch on. Oh yeah, right here. So this is another thing that the Pokemon trainer boxes have, but I think it's a super cool thing to keep track of all your stuff. And that is the section where you can um, basically check off the different cards that you have. Uh, I do recommend using the app too if you enjoy you know, keeping track of your cards on the app. You are able to go in there and actually mark the ones that you have um, and keep track of your collection. So that's pretty cool. Or if you're old school like me and would prefer the book, then there's that option for you too. Yeah, and we will be showing off uh, some of those portfolios on a separate video. Um, so watch out for that one. Uh, but yeah, so that's about it for this video. Um, if you enjoyed this type of video, there will be tons more Lorcana videos coming out in the future. So uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. That way you are notified when those videos drop. Um, we will be covering the starter decks in a separate video. We will be covering uh, the accessories that you can get, like the play mats, the deck boxes, and the sleeves. Um, the gift set, and I don't know if I already said it, but a booster box as well. Uh, drop us a like if you like the video, and drop us a comment letting us know what awesome cards you have got from your polls. And then, as always, everybody, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.